Hello and welcome to another edition of Discussion Point. Today I have uh, Mr Jim Barrington of the League Against Cruel Sports who is in the studio to talk about uh, the activities of the League. Now, Mr Barrington, could you tell us in a few words uh, what the activities of the League are? Our aims are to see the total abolition of hunting a wild animal with a pack of dogs. Not just any wild animal. A number. Can we start that again? <laughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome to another edition of Discussion Point. And today I have Mr Jim Barrington of the League Against Cruel Sports, who is going to tell us about the activities of the League. Mr Barrington, perhaps you could tell us about your activities. Yes, the League's aims are to see the total abolition of all hunting with packs of dogs. That is, stag hunting, fox hunting, hare hunting, mink hunting, and uh, hare coursing. And. Uh, we feel that the vast majority of people in Britain today are totally opposed to these activities and uh, that uh, re Parliament should reflect that view. Now what makes you think that the majority of people are opposed <coughs> to this view? Well, I know we don't run the country on public opinion polls, but every public opinion poll that's ever been conducted has shown that the vast majority of people, three quarters or thereabouts, are opposed to these activities. And when you get that degree of consistency, I think that there must be some truth, some basis, basis in those uh, figures. Yes. Now, it has been said that um, uh, the people who hunt, uh, you know, the field sports enthusiasts, um, are doing a lot uh, for conservation in this country. What have you to say to this? Well, I think conservation is a word that's been, been, been much abused. It's, it's been uh, taken on board by the hunting fraternity, the field sports set, and uh, it's been twisted to uh, support what they actually do. I would say that conservation should be carried out for uh, the sake of the animal and the, the habitat, whereas these people are simply using both the animals and the habitat for their own pleasure. And it's, a, it's a, an activity which is totally unnecessary. There is no proven evidence that uh, these animals have to be hunted and killed in this way, and therefore it's, uh, uh, it's, it's an unnecessary activity which should be abolished. Now you say it's not necessary for these animals to be hunted. Now um, obviously the fox is a pest, and in the past uh, foxes have been shot um, and gas by farmers. Now, um, surely the field spots and enthusiasts are proposing that uh, these animals are conserved for hunting. Now, I come back to this point about conservation. Well, and surely that they're encouraging conservation, aren't they? You see, you've contradicted yourself there. You've said that they, they, the hunting fraternity want to conserve the fox, and yet at the same time they're a pest. Uh, what we have to do is look at uh, the reality of the situation and see exactly what damage, if any, the fox in this particular instance actually does. And uh, I've spoken to many hunt supporters, and uh, this, this phrase that they glibly trot out, the fox is a pest, uh, cannot be substantiated by any proof. Uh, foxes don't eat crops, they don't kill cows, they don't kill uh, um, horses or any other sort, sort of animals. But they eat chickens, don't they? They eat chickens, but most, most uh, chickens are in battery farms these days, and foxes, for all their sins, don't carry um, bulk croppers and, and screwdrivers. And uh, you can securely house poultry. And if you're as uh, stupid or as lazy not to look after those, those birds, then you are going to lose them. OK, now let's talk about the activities of um, you know, uh, sabotaging um, these hunts. Um, can we have your thoughts on this? Well, the, the, uh, first of all, I should make the, 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 the statement that, that we're not the Hunt Saboteurs Association. We, the, we, we try to uh, aim for the, the largest sabotage of the lot, if you like. That's, that's the ending of hunting with, uh, with dogs through parliamentary means. Uh, the Hunt Saboteurs are another organisation who, I would say, in, uh, try to save animals in the meantime. And uh, as long as they stay the side of the law, then, then uh, good luck to them. Uh, some of the methods, methods they use, uh, I would say, perhaps take them slightly into a grey area, which isn't necessarily uh, against the law, but possibly may have to be sorted out in the, in the courts at some time. But in the main, they are well-intentioned people, and uh, uh, I would say do a good job. Unfortunately, the press seem to pick up on the bad side of hunt saboteurs, and uh, wherever you see the headline hunt saboteurs, it's usually coupled with violence. Of course, they don't publicise the good uh, hunt sabotages. Yes, but I mean, surely, um, wh where there is a group of antis, <coughs> uh, shall we say, um, don't you think it's rather unlawful to disrupt um, the pursuits of country people? Well, no, I, I would say if it's, if it's as much their fox to kill, it's as much ours to protect. 
but also when, when referring back to the figures that I've mentioned before, and most people in Britain are being opposed to this activity, I would say it's the hunters that uh, are uh, causing action liable to, to uh, uh, breach the peace. Ms. Barrington, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Not bad, John.